Hey guys, and welcome back to another beautiful day out on Call of the Wild. And before anyone asks, it is 75 degrees and sunny out, so I am wearing a tank top. Yes, I am. But today, I want to try and find some water buffalo. However, this time, well, let's just say in the past, the water buffalo, trying to get a diamond water buffalo was one of the toughest diamonds to get in Call of the Wild because you had to get either a perfect spinal cord or a brain or a heart shot. But now, we should be able to get a nice double lung or even maybe even a single lung with we have with us the 9.3 by 74 r we'll also have the hawk edge bow and i'll bring the 6.5 in case we see any mule deer well we got a female water buffalo here about 29 yards out so that's pretty close i think we're going to try out the bow we're zeroed in for 20 actually the red dot's going to be 40 so we'll just kind of center it and go with that that should have been pretty good Wow, it was actually kind of hard to see her. I mean, she was so close, but I really couldn't see her that good. Well, she's piled up right there, though, so it looks like we did. Oh, we got another one right there. That one looks like it could be a decent one. Oh, it is a decent one. Potentially, that could be a diamond. According to what everybody's been saying, something with a, a massive horn like that, that could easily be a diamond water buffalo. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna slide over this way. We have a perfect win. We're zeroed in for 20 still. So if he comes in, we'll be all set. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's him right there. Yeah, it's him, it's him. Okay, let's go prone, let's go prone. He's about 80 yards out from us now and he's definitely pretty broadside. I just wanna get a little bit closer because he's in a little bit of brush. So we're gonna slide forward. We'll actually crawl pretty much as slow as we can and we'll try and get to this opening here. We might as well pick up this female on the way but we really can't take that shot in that thick of brush. So we'll have to get a little bit closer. So here's our female down. Let's grab her real quick while we're at it. Looks like we did get a double lung liver at 28 yards out. Everything's all good to go. So for this mythical, we should be all set. Okay, that's him. He's 42 yards away right there. Still don't really have a good angle at him and he's in a ton of brush. So I guess we'll have to get a little bit closer. Maybe we'll be able to sit right here and hope that he steps out but I really don't know if we can get too much closer to this giant water buffalo. He's so close. He's, he's less than 20 yards away. He's right there, I can't. Okay, so the six is there. He is right, I can't even get a spotting on him, but I know he's 20 yards away. I mean, you can see his horn right there. Can we even see him? If I could see him even a little bit, I would definitely take that. And you know what, we're going to but we just gotta get in a spot here where we can see just a little bit better. This is a rush, we're so close to this thing. Okay, I see him. Oh, we smoked him. Oh my God, we dropped him. <laughs> where the heck did we hit him? I mean, I tried for a double lung shoulder blade. Reserved in for 20. Maybe we hit a little bit high. I think we ended up getting spinal cord. I mean, it looks like a perfect shot. That still probably was double lung and spinal cord. Well, let's pick him up. <laughs> and he is a diamond with a trophy rating of 196. 13 yards away. And we ended up getting a double lung spinal cord on him with the hawk edge bow. Not a bad way to start off the hunt. Let's take a look here. We use everything properly. And what do we need for a diamond? 191 you need to get a diamond 191.7 so we cleared that by uh you know, about like 10 points so pretty good ended up with 1600 cash there and 100 percent on everything look at that very nice very nice but look at the difficulty species difficulty 100 percent on him but let's actually take a look at the true score real quick a horn length of 65.4 inches and an overall spread of 83.3 inches a diameter or that basically the base of the horn is 23.9 inches wow that is a giant water buffalo and i mean honestly what they did to these horns on these things is just immaculate it's like Wow, they, they definitely outdid themselves here. They did a pretty incredible job on these things because when you see them, when I first saw this one, it looked like it was a nine legendary from before. And so yeah, I, I definitely see how this could be a diamond. So I'm pretty happy with that. 
Well, we just got eyes on the other six hard water buffalo. I believe it's the same one that was with that mythical or technically the diamond that we just got. But this one's about 280 yards out. Now, I want to use a 9.3 drilling rifle on him. So we'll try and score up a little bit more broadside so we can get at least a single lung. I don't want to hold on the front shoulder. I want to hold right on the back part, kind of lower, basically on the bottom of the top crosshair right there. I'd be pretty, pretty ideal with that. So let's try for that. 290 out that's a long long ways out especially with this thing we'll zero in for 160 and hold for the top of the spine we should be all right yeah i felt pretty confident about that it hit pretty much right where i wanted it to so let's watch and he's probably gonna run a pretty good ways but that should have been a single lung that is a vital. That means he definitely went down, and I did see him go down over here. Yeah, right here. Here he is down. That's exactly where I last saw him. I saw him right here on the back side of this brush, and it looked like he was tipping over. And it looks like he actually did just that. That's a gold. 278 yards out, and it dropped in there perfectly. Just like I thought. I wanted it to drop in kind of on the lower end of the lung. We're holding for the top of the lung spine area, and it looks like it dropped maybe about... Uh, probably like 10 inches or so 278 yards a gold 150 on the trophy rating of that water buffalo very cool and that's our first water buffalo with the 9.3 that we've actually gotten a gold with a single hit without getting spinal cord or heart or brain oh boy look what we just found a whole herd of giant water buffalo and that guy there looks like it should be either a secondary heart or a mythical but you can definitely tell that the horns on this thing stand out so much. Okay, it's just a mating call. I thought it was actually going to be a warning call. What do we have here? Look at this one, too. Do you see that? That's a six, but there's one behind it. I guess it's only a six, too. Man. Those sixes even look pretty nice as well. Okay, so... This is going to be... Interesting to say the least because There's got to be about 20 25 water buffalo there and there's only one of us <laughs> We do have a bow which we could use pretty well apparently and We have the 9.3 by 74 R Locked and loaded as well, but I really don't know <laughs> What we're gonna do here Okay, I think what I want to do is try and sneak up over here and maybe go for a long shot with the bow on the big what i'm pretty sure is a mythical and then just bust out the 9.3 by 74 r and see if we can't light up some water buffalo that's the one we want right there okay unless i happen to see the seven okay there's the seven i did find the seven but it's gonna be kind of a miracle to be able to yeah this big six right on top of us here i think we're not gonna hold off on him I don't know, but here comes a seven behind us. So yeah, th there's no way we're going to pass up this huge six right here. We're just, we're not going to. Oh, he just bent it down. <gasps> he just bent it down right on top of us. Holy. Oh my God. I think that's the seven. Wow. This is intense. That giant right there should be the seven. Got him. Hit him a little bit high, but we did get him. I'm just happy we didn't accidentally hit that one on the skull. So that is definitely a vital hit. It will take him down. I believe we might have only gotten a single lung. I didn't exactly want to take that angle, but he was about to spook and they were pretty close. We have a five medium there. I believe we have a seven right here as well at 280 out. Plus we have this Puma out here about 340 now that one hmm see i think we actually have to use the drilling rifle as well i was gonna say the 6.5 we could make a nice hit on them but i think we have to use the drilling rifle so that's a little too far for the drilling rifle at least for my comfort but let's head over here and go track down our nice water buffalo that we smoked at like 15 yards away vital organ hit and if you haven't played this way you should try it turn off the tracks once it's a lot of fun and you have to be more patient otherwise it's just not going to work out so well but oh right there what do we have coming in here 
Why is she running? That's interesting. Okay, so I'm not really worried about that one, but if the other big six comes in, we will try and take a shot on it. I mean, oh, <laughs> I guess we really don't have to track this one too far because he's laying right here. So let's grab him. He is a gold and that was a six. Okay, so I thought he was a seven, but that was actually a six. How do we do? Gold for 147. So this guy definitely made gold. It was probably going to score similar to the same as that seven. Double lunged him at 19 yards out. So that might be why I was actually watching the other one. But 1400 cash and that was pretty sweet. And since we have this seven right here at about 140 out, I think we'll go for him with the drilling rifle here. If he can turn and give us a decent broadside angle. Or he's just going to bed right back down and go to sleep. <laughs> well, in that case, we're going to put the spot and stock on him and try and take him down with a bow. You know, because there's no sense in taking a shot when we can't really see him with the drilling rifle. And we can try and get closer and take a nice shot with the bow. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here he comes, here he comes. He's actually running this way. I don't know if he's trying to attack us. Oh, I think he is. I think he is. Well, this is going to be interesting. This is pretty cool. Holy, what's going on? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just smoked the tree. That was, wow, I don't know. Wow. Well, look what we just found here. That's another eight mythical dime potential water buffalo. But this guy here looks like he has the same exact size horns as the seven or the big six. So I'm thinking that this could still be a big gold. I mean, of course it should be a big gold. Uh, potentially it could be a diamond, but I'm just gonna say it's probably gonna be like a nice big gold, which will be pretty awesome. He's about 200 yards out. He is bedded down, but I think we could squeeze one right in there. That looked pretty good. Let's watch. So I'm pretty sure he just piled up right there. The only way I could tell is as soon as they get kind of like wobbly and you can see the horn wobble back and forth at the last second, usually that means they're about to tip over. And I think that's what just happened right there. So let's go over here and go take a look and see how we did. There's a couple more water buffalo over here as well, but I'm not really worried about them. If they try and attack us, we'll just bust out. What was that? Oh, there's some more over there as well. Um, if they try and attack us, we'll just bust out the, uh, well, we'll have one um, 9.3 by 74R bullet. And then we also have our 16 gauge slugs we can always use in case we need backup. And I do believe our buffalo is standing right here. That is a vital organ hit, so that should take him down. And like I said, I saw him fall over. I think I saw him fall over like right, right over there. Okay, let's go over there and go get him. I was right. There he is laying right there. So he probably ran maybe like 200, 250. Really didn't go too far. But we got this guy with the 9.3. And he is a diamond as well. This guy barely made diamond. 193.5. And we needed a 191. Ended up getting a left lung. So a pretty nice shot at 274 yards out on him. And now that I look at it, that actually is a pretty good size water buffalo. That's a pretty nice muley buck out there. He's about 300 yards out. Now, I want to use a 6.5 because I believe if we get a single lung, we'll still be able to get full trophy rating on this buck. I'm pretty sure you can actually use the 9.3 by 74R on the mule deer as well, but 300 yards is kind of far to use that. I mean, we could hold for the top of the spine, but I'd rather just go for a nice double lung or at least try and get a single lung on this buck with a 6.5. So he's actually kind of facing us right there. And if we could get a single lung, I'll be pretty happy with that. We're going to hold for the top of the shoulder. It should drop in there nicely and catch a single lung. That was definitely a hit. Now to figure out how to get all the way over there and go see how we did. I mean, like I said, it looked like a pretty solid hit. 
we're holding for kind of the top of the lung um, liver so either way we should have got one or the other you know and that's when boats would come in pretty handy right now because we could just swim or not swim but we could just drive our boat right over there because we got to go all the way over to that point over there so we'll just go around these mountains here and try and hop over there well that's a pretty good sign right there that we did in fact make a good hit because our buck is laying right here that's a really nice muley should be actually i don't know what the score is going to be on him but we'll find out here in a second and we did get a gold he's going to score 415 ended up with the right lung liver and stomach at 294 yards that's a great great muley buck and yeah the reason we went with that angle was because this 6.5 has really really good penetration we centered the lung pretty much perfectly dropped pretty much right below the uh, spine there and right above the shoulder blade very nice a huge gold muley and we're gonna get 1061 cash for that but that's pretty sweet that we were able to get that um i honestly don't know if we could have done that before the update i think right lung liver might have gave us 100 percent before but either way i think even right now if we got only a single lung that would give us a huge gold muley and he's a gray on top of it uh we're gonna save him because i'm running way way low on cash let's actually switch him out for this brown bear here and yeah we will save him 415 that is so cool to be able to say that score you can see the minimum for gold is 341 so we cleared that by far but diamond you're gonna need 497.7 in order to be a diamond but that was a pretty awesome hunt. Ended up with two diamond water buffalo out of that and a huge gold muley with the 6.5. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.